in the process for recruitment for BPCL, there were two branches, mechanical and chemical. The selection process consisted of two rounds, GD and interview, and the criteria was 6.5 for sitting in GD. In GD, uh, they made a group of 15 students, and uh, uh, the topic allotted to my group was uh, multi-brand detailing should be allowed in India. In, uh, in, the, in GD, they were, the main focus was not on uh, content, but it was on communication skills and how you cooperate, that is, how you listen to each other. And uh, they, they selected 17 students out of 45 for interview. Then the next round was interview. The panel consisted of three people. One was from HR and two from technical. As I entered, uh, the, the first question was, uh, tell us about your family background. I answered, uh, I told them about uh, my hometown, parents, siblings, and their occupation. Then she asked me if I wanted to do, I wanted to do an M do MBA or any further studies. I told them that uh, before further studies, I want to ex experience industry. Then I'll decide whether I want to go for these further studies or or not. Then I asked, asked them that what they think, uh, should I go for MBA or any further studies before gaining some experience? Uh, she said, and would they prefer me if I said I want to do MBA? She said, no, it's okay both ways. She just wanted to know my uh, plans about future. Then she asked me about my training. I told them that I did it at, at uh, Honda CL Cars India Limited. My project there was to maintain some inventory management system. Then she handed me to technical guys. The first question was, how do you measure atmospheric pressure? I said, parameter. Next question. Uh, what is barometer? I told them it's construction and it's working. Then he asked me if he replaced mercury with water, what will happen? I answered with the governing equations. Then the next question was, uh, for past four years, they have been uh, visiting this campus and they see people are making, making ATV. So why is that you people all are making ATV? Is it the same ATV you have made or you are modifying the same ATV again and again? I told them it's not like that. Uh, so uh, three batches have been involved in this uh, ATV making competition and it's a competition, Baha SA India. And we have made two ATVs still now. Then he asked me the difference between an ATV and a normal car. I covered all the aspects, told them how an ATV is different with, with a normal car. Then finally he asked me if I fill this room with water, what will be the weight of the water? I told him the width is 5 meter, the length is 10 meter and height is 8 meter, so it's 400 meter cube, density is uh, 1000 kg per meter cube, that's it. Then uh, I hesitated a bit, uh, then he asked me, if you stand up, you stand up there and uh, how many how many of you can stand one above the other in this room? Then I, uh, then I corrected myself, the height is not more than 4 meter. Then again, they handed over to HR, she asked me at BPCL, you will be required to work in night shift, shop flow, uh, will you be happy? I said yes. Then uh, we have three refineries, one at, B one at Mumbai, one at Kochi and Bina. Will you be willing to go in all these three places? I said okay. Then she asked, uh, you have already told us you don't want to do MBA. Is it correct? I said yes, no, I won't do MBA, uh, at least not now. Uh, spot tips, I would say, uh, whenever you are in an interview, never say you don't want to, you want to go for further education or higher education. And uh, they don't want, they don't want to hear your answers, if they are correct or not. What they want is how you proceed. That's it.